Hi there! This video is the start of a series of videos where we're going to show you how to create content for your TV channel. So we're going to start looking at a specific design principle introduced in the non-designers design book and that principle is called CRAP. So it should be an easy one to remember. And CRAP actually stands for Contrast, Repetition, Alignment, and Proximity. In this series of videos, we're going to show you each concept and how to tie it together so you can create effective content quickly. Let's get to it. We're actually going to work backwards and start with the P, which is proximity. Straight out of the non-designer's design book, the basic purpose of proximity is to organize. Essentially, the concept of proximity is to group related elements together so that it automatically creates organization on the screen. The better organized your information is on the screen, the more likely people will stop and read it and even remember it later on. That's the basic concept of proximity and we're going to now apply it. This is a typical flyer that we would be given by our clients. This specifically is geared towards a retirement home and it features a club that is run in that facility. What I'm going to show you here is how to take something that is portrait and a flyer and turn it into a landscape layout for your TV. This might not seem like a lot of content, but for the TV, we need to edit this down quite a bit in order to get people to just get a snapshot of the main ideas of this flyer. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to show bits and I'm going to go and find a template that corresponds with the flyer, which is coffee club. So I'm going to go find this template right here. I'm going to download it and I'm going to open it. And you know the drill, I'm just going to enable editing. And here is our template that we're going to use. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this information and I'm going to paste it onto our slide. And as you can see here, it's already filled up the whole slide and we haven't even taken the second portion of the flyer yet. And that's why it's so important to keep the amount of text at a minimum for TV, just because we like to keep our font sizes a lot bigger in order for it to be legible for our audience. So what we're going to do here is really bring it down to the main concepts and follow the rule of W5H, which is who, what, where, when, why, and how. And also, a good tip is to not put full sentences. So we're really just looking at the key concepts for people to just take a look at the screen, grab that information, and move on their way. I'm going to start editing it down, and I'm going to edit this down, just picking the key concepts. And I'm really just eliminating any of the filler words. We brought it down to this much text. I'm going to go and get the last piece of content now from the flyer. Once again, I'm just going to copy this content and I'm going to paste it onto our slide. I'm just going to move some content around, so I'm just going to highlight and drag. So I've cut down the content quite a bit, but as is now, it's really not legible. It's, it's missing proper punctuation, it's missing proper layout, but now is the time that we're going to bring the rule of proximity into play. I'm going to move that down. I'm going to make that separate, get rid of that period, make that separate. And I'm also going to make this a separate line completely. I'm going to separate that as well. And I'm just going to add. So now you can see we have three distinct sections and it's a lot faster to digest than the initial flyer. The very last thing for proximity that I'm going to do is just bring down the size of the spaces in between our paragraphs. And by the way, we're still at font 36, which is a great size for legibility for your TV. Let's do 18. That's it for the concept of proximity. Stay tuned for our following tutorials, which will cover alignment, repetition, and contrast, which when used all together in the craft design principle will give you an effective, easy method in creating content. Hope this was helpful and until next time, keep on publishing.